Okay. This conference will now this conference will now be recorded. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, so it means uh, when we create the raw material, then we have mm. to take the version because uh, raw material like a tire is uh, uh, is a third party that we are buying from. Yeah. Correct. Okay. We don't require a production version for that. Okay. So <clears throat> Uh, the other question that I have, I think I send you an email, and that's yeah. the one question I have. Which material you selected? Uh, mm, I send you email. I think it's a Toyota. Uh, just one second. I want to open up the email. Toyota car, yes. A3G, uh, Toyota underscore to, 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 zero, zero. Zero. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. You have selected the wrong material type. Material type A3 you have selected. A3 with finished material. Finished product. Yeah, finished product only. Material type you have selected wrong. Because uh, oh, material type is select wrong. Okay, and that's why it should be for the yeah, PRT, correct. So how I can. Uh... It should be for. Yeah. Uh, we have a transaction code to change this material type. Let me show you. Production material master. Yeah, I, material master. MM02. Material. Not MM02. You can see MMAM is the transaction material code. Type. I see. Okay. Yeah, change material type. You are able to see my screen? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. So you enter material, new material type should be your selected actually A3 finished product. I see. Okay, you should okay. select yeah, FERT. Yeah. FERT. So that's what it's okay. a habit. I see. Yeah, correct. And execute. OK. Now it will show me in the. Let me, that is also I'll show. You are changing material type from the, yes. Yeah. Okay, valuation class. Okay, valuation class, yeah. it is asking 7920. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Now, if you go and see this material, I got it. You can now valuation it. type uh, give me the options. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now you can see valuation class, right? Okay, now it's an option. Yeah. because I, I choose the wrong material type. And uh, I give me the only one option. OK. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Thank you, sir. You can go ahead and uh, <clears throat> move okay. on for, uh, for the for the class. So OK, one question from my side. So can you tell me what are the steps we did in MTS scenario? MTS. Yeah. I'm sorry, what you mean MTS scenario? Is a total yeah, scenario? To stock. Yeah, total scenario. What are the steps we did? Seven okay, steps we are there. We will make for testing in RP running and planet order. We convert oh. the planet order. Flat size procurement. We confirm it. We confirm, we confirm it. Uh -huh. And we make a good, good issue and good receipt. Good issue for the production and good receipt in the warehouse. Uh, yeah. One or this is what we did. Yeah, good. Okay. Now, I will tell you one small topic here goods moments. Okay. This goods issue and goods receipt we did separately using MIGO transaction code. Correct? Right. Yeah. Okay. Now we have an option to do these two 
goods issue and goods received automatically during production confirmation so in this way we don't use uh, a separate good issue and good received correct we don't required okay using some basic settings mm -hmm. you can do these two steps automatically in production confirmation itself because production confirmation means itself is a you are doing goods movements means you are producing yeah. okay so you want to make these two okay yeah. automatically in production confirmation we need to do settings okay i will show you that now confirmation we need setting yeah yes we need auto setting. automatic gi and gr yeah. in production confirmation automatic uh, g ga and gr Correct. Now, is this functionality work with uh, HANA and also work with uh, ECC? Yeah, HANA and ECC both are, it will work. I see. Okay. So, first is, I will tell you, automatic goods issue. Okay. This automatic goods issue is also called back flash it's called back flash okay. it is nothing but it is also called as back flash i see okay so now this you can do this activate you can activate this in the material master i see okay mm -hmm. so choose back flush sorry choose back flush indicator in material master mrp2 tab okay so if you choose this in mrp2 tab automatically when you are doing confirmation this goods issue will come i see uh, okay. um, so when we uh, select an mrp2 back flash then hmm. we'll do automatically back flash, right? i will show you i will show you that okay practically i will show you where it is and the goods so, issue means you are doing raw material yeah, yeah one minute sir so hmm. the material we choose we we choose three material one is uh, uh, you know uh, car which is a mm. uh, honda car and then honda tire and then 166 mm. material so can Correct. we do this all in uh, mrp2 or just only one raw material, uh, material goods issue means which are the materials you are using okay for those materials you need to do the setting in material master for example you are doing you are using the material tyrant 166 right okay you can put this indicator for these two materials but not in the in the fg, uh, FG you material. are doing goods receipt i see okay okay mm -hmm. so i will show you where to put this one honda tire Locker by 46. We are in the 46. Okay. Okay. I am opening Honda tire. I am selecting MRP2. And here, um, here you can see back flash. Okay. Option is there. You just select this option. Okay. Always. Always back flush and save it. Okay. Always back flush. You can save it. Yeah. This is a master data setting. Yeah. Okay. Now 
where you can see you activated i will show you that before that i am taking the already existing order for honda car i will show you where what is the impact of this one okay. for example this order is there last time we executed okay this order i am taking and go to the co 11 and i am entering this order so and example like operation 10 okay you can click on the actual data this is a old order i took and where you can see this gi and gr details is here in the top you have one button you can see goods movement yeah can you hold on one second okay please? yeah okay if you click this button one more screen will come you mm -hmm. can see confirmation of okay yeah so presently you can see there is no materials here yeah. okay because this is a old order mm -hmm. okay just now only we changed the setting yeah so that is the reason this is not coming okay yeah so now i will create one production order okay and we will see this screen again you can see yeah, the difference you your voice is not clear yeah i'm sorry don't forget to set up the back flash for the yeah. item 166 is yeah right? i want or to show you the difference i want to show you the ah. difference it will okay, show okay, here okay. only which yeah. are the material have the back flash on we are not put 166 okay. so it won't come okay here. okay 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 yeah got it okay yeah thank you okay now i am creating a manually production order okay you can create manually production order also whenever you required okay to create a production order you can use co01 okay this is why we are creating is we want to test our scenario for that for that again you don't require to go to pir manufacture mrp planned order all those steps are not required because we are testing ourselves so directly you can create a production order okay so i am creating co01 our material honda car enter the plant and press enter okay just one second okay okay this is how to create manually production order so in real time if somebody wants urgent order you need to manufacture directly create a production order and do the manufacturing but we can create the plan order first right yeah you can create planned order and convert that also you can do this is also directly you can do so when you create the direct mm -hmm. still you need the plan order don't you no not required i see okay what In was this... the what was the transition transaction code co zero one C O zero direct yeah uh, production okay okay now mm -hmm. once you come here first you need to enter the quantity how much you want to produce for example i want to produce 10 mm -hmm. and you need to enter the date okay right enter the end date and the date means when you are going to complete this one for example today is 16 or 17 i want to complete this by tomorrow you can enter tomorrow date and press enter no start date start date automatically will get calculated okay, okay. yeah based on the type mm -hmm. okay here type is there based on that it will automatically calculates okay right now you can 
release it directly you can click on release button and save it okay once again I am telling you what we enter we enter the quantity we enter the end date and then press enter then release it okay now you can click on save button yeah, uh, I'm sorry, Vasu. He took uh, uh, two back uh, backward uh, type two backward. Uh, this Correct. one because you put the end date, the end date. No, this is what this automatically. Yeah, this automatically came from the configuration. Okay. Yeah. So as yeah. it is having the backward, okay. Oh, okay. You need to enter yeah. the end date. I will yeah. tell you so, this. Okay. So, uh, so you can do it forward I... forward two. Yeah, and forward do. also you can do. Okay, uh, no problem. Okay, okay. okay. So no problem. what Thank is you. what is mean by two backwards? As you told me earlier. No, two means it's a code. Backward okay. is the actual word. Okay. So now this is order we created 180. Okay. Thousand one eight zero is the production order. Okay. Now I will confirm this. I will show you the difference now. Go to C O eleven and enter thousand one eight zero and our operation zero zero one zero. Click on actual data. So ten has come and here now I am clicking goods movements. Now you can see. Honda, Honda tire, tire automatically yeah. came quantity mm -hmm. and here you can select storage location so existing stock is 1800 you can select it okay if you see the right side it will show you the movement type also 261 automatically okay So finally, you can do the save. Okay. Can I save it now? Yeah. yeah. Where, is, where is the uh, 261 momentum? Type? Yeah, right side. Right side. Oh, okay. Okay. Just Automatically, it will come. We are not entering anything here. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well, and now, what you will do for the 166? You do it manually? Or what you do? One? 166. Ah, yeah. That you need to do using Migo. In this case, yeah. in this case, against this production order, if you go to the Migo transaction code, it will show only 166. Because yeah. here we are doing it is automatically. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. I will show but you. Maybe we have to do everything back flies. Yeah, that is a one time activity only. While creating yeah. material master, you will do that. Yeah, it's better. Yeah, great. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So now, now in this case, Wasu, uh, mm. we now we confirm when we do confirmation, a good issue, good uh, receipt will happen. Uh, we don't need to do the next one in this case. We do Correct. Make a back flash is, is better. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Now I am clicking on save button. Now in the bottom you can see the message. Confirmation saved. Goods movements one. Great. Okay. Goods movements yeah. one. Failed zero means, for example, you selected the storage location where stock is not there. Okay, where stock is not there. So that time it will get failed. Okay, so that failed you need to. Uh, correct it later. It will show here failed one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Failed one means uh, that 166. Not 166. We we enter the Honda tire. Right. We are talking about only Honda tire, which is appeared here. Okay. If we select a wrong storage location. Oh. Okay. Okay. 
so system check that stock is not available so then the message will come as failed one okay so now i will i will show you the stock is reduced or not you can see mmb earlier this tire stock is there how much 1800 now it should come 1750 you can see okay yeah. jamal correct yes okay now this is this setting is for auto goods issue is it clear yeah okay yes. now yes. yeah okay now how we can do the auto goods receipt for this if you want a auto goods receipt okay you need to go to the routing select control key with auto goods receipt okay so that means in the routing uh, select control key with automatic in routing master that so in routing you need to select the control key which is having the auto goods receipt okay with this option you can get goods receipt also okay now i will show you where is this setting I am so in this case, as soon as we confirm the good issue, good hmm. receipt happen. The yeah, price? I will show you that also. Yeah, correct. I will show you that now. Okay. Yeah, great. CA02, go to the routing. Routing CA02. Yeah. Honda car, your FG material. And here we have the 10 20 30 40 four operations correct okay when you will do the gr when you finish this last operation that time you will do the gr gr means product is ready when you will tell product is ready after completion of last operation so this automatic gr should happen at last operation not at the first operation okay in goods issue should happen at first operation because you are starting assembling it but goods receipt should happen at last operation so here the control key pp01 is there this you need to change it i will show which one is the correct one you can see you have standard one pp03 goods in house production auto goods receipt yeah if you see the details for this pp03 wow. you can see pp03 here one tick mark is there automatic gr mm -hmm. mark is there that control key you need to select okay great now i am selecting pp03 okay that too you need to put for last operation not for the all operations okay okay uh, this is only the setting can you go one more time the us yeah, uh, uh, yeah. pp03 and select that and click on detail information you mm -hmm. can see the bottom the information yes, this is option automatic gr okay yeah you can click on continue yeah and save it okay yeah just to ask a question uh, now yeah, uh, absolutely we should do it uh, for good issue uh, all time the same way only the last line we put b003 
auto reseed automatic yes and for Correct. the first line good issue automatic only yeah is that right yeah not not yes, for correct. all of them. Okay, great. Okay, Only thanks. with the last item. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, I will show you the difference for old order and new order. You can. I am going to the CO11 and I am taking the old order and last operation means 40. Okay. I will put the sum yield here. So six is left over. Okay. So 40 operation I selected. Okay. And I am clicking the goods moments. This is old order. And you can see there is no material here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now I will create a new order and I will show you. Now I am going to see what zero one. I am entering the same material Honda car press center and now here first is you can enter the uh, quantity I am entering some five quantity okay and then here you are asking about the dates end date or start date okay so you can see backwards it came automatically as from the configuration for example if you it came as automatically backwards then you need to enter the end date so system automatically calculate the start date for example you have selected the you have so many options here okay if you select the forward okay you select the start date you need to enter the start date start yeah, date example, yeah. yeah for example start date you took the today and then press enter it automatically calculates the end date. Great. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. It automatically calculates end date. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, same thing, click on release order and save it. Okay. Now you can see our new order is 1181. So now, okay. I'm going to see what 11 and 1181 order. First, we need to confirm the first operation. Enter. Click on actual data. Once you practice this transaction code, you will do automatically one by one. Okay. So you that is the reason you should do more practice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now I am going to the goods moments. You can see Honda tire has come automatically. Select storage location and save it. This is for auto GI, which is coming in first operation. Okay. Now click on save button post. So the goods movements, if you see in the bottom, you got the message confirmation saved, goods movements one. Okay. Goods issue is over. Okay. Now we need to do for the remaining operations also. Same order I am taking. I am taking the second operation. Click on actual data. So for second operation, we don't have any goods movements. If you go here also, nothing will come. You can save it. So now second operation is over. Now I am doing the third operation. Enter. Click on actual data and click on goods moments. So third operation also nothing is there here. No goods moments and save it. Now I am going to the fourth operation, last operation. Four. Click actual data. Now I am clicking the goods moments. 101. Yes, you can see now. Honda car has come, five quantity, toy location, and the goods moments is 101. 
yeah okay man okay and before saving this let us check stock of this material honda car in this plant its stock is 4 is there okay before confirming this order now become 9 yeah exactly now jamal is it clear yeah yeah okay now i am clicking on save button so here in the last operation automatically your gr related data has come okay stock storage location plant everything has come and click on save button post so at the end you can see the message confirmation saved goods movements failed goods movements one failed zero okay yeah. now you can go to the mmba transaction code for stock earlier okay. it is four is there now you click on refresh button now you can see yeah. wow great okay okay this is called auto goods issue and goods receipt okay yeah. so auto. this we are doing operation wise okay jamal what is the another transaction code to do confirmation in auto uh, uh, confirmation for a whole order MIGO? no confirmation oh. for a whole order confirmations we have two methods one is operation wise another order wise order wise and uh... order wise means you can do completely without you can see co 11 n is that right co 11 n is operation wise okay order okay wise order confirmation uh, 15 15 co 15 okay yeah. so in this case what will happen I can show you now. So this is order wise means all operations you are do confirming at a time. Correct? Mm -hmm. Order wise means what? All operations. Sorry. All operations. CO15. No? Yes. Yeah, CO15. We are confirming everything in single. In one shot. Yes. Okay. To show you that one. I am creating one more order. Okay. So I am creating one more order with the five quantity release and save it. Now new order 182 is created. Okay. If you go to the CO15, you can see enter production order confirmation. So order wise completely we are doing it. Okay. Enter production order number and press enter. So you can enter here the quantity, five quantity, press enter. Okay. Now this is final confirmation select this radio button now in this transaction code also you have a goods movements button you can see both yeah. of them the could issue yes. good could receive is that right exactly yeah exactly yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 goods wow. issue and goods received select wow. this store is okay select this and you can see the movement types can I tell you something? Maybe we can set up the storage location in the Honda tire in the article itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we can set up. Yeah, we can set yeah, up. Yeah, this way, in this case, will come automatic here, I believe. Yes, yeah? correct. In the material yeah. master, you can do that actually. Yeah, yeah. That's what we do in IS retail business. Yes. Yeah, yeah, correct. Okay. Okay. Jamal, is it clear? It is clear, but. Uh... It's need more uh, practice, and practice. Uh, since yeah. uh, uh, it's a little, it's hard to say now to 
go by step by step, but you need, need to make this. You need uh, to practice this. Right, we need to practice. Um, that's I'm thinking that uh, if we have, now we have, we'll, our class is continuously for the whole week. Mm. And uh, one day when it has off, like a Sunday, because uh, mm. one day we have to practice together. And uh, we did the practice together with Nicholas, but mm -hmm. uh, it will help a lot. Now, since we are continuously working, we don't have any day off. So the coming yeah. day, coming week, this week means coming, is yeah. uh, we have to take off on uh, one day. Mm -hmm. Because when you are continuously, continuously you are uh, taking the class, then we have, <laughs> we have no end of time to practice. Actually, last week I gave you two days off. <laughs> right. You are so, not utilized at that off, actually. Right. And uh, now, now we are catching. Yeah, we are working. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, uh, slowly and slowly catch up. Because uh, this uh, uh, production planning, you have to go slowly and slowly that keep the everything mm. in the mind. Because we cannot Correct. go very fast. But you, yeah. you will miss a lot of things, you know. Correct. Yes. So that is the reason I'm telling you from the yeah. starting to ending cycle. Okay. So right. this, these are the small topics. If I tell these during the material creation, you won't yeah. understand that. For example, right. auto backflush is there. If I told that option under this uh, yeah, functionality understand. during right. the material creation, you won't understand that. Right. Right. Same thing. Control key also. I have also explained that control key when I'm creating routing. But right. if I not show this one, you won't remember that. Yeah, okay. I think in this Function. model, uh, only the the very uh, pay attention uh, yeah. when you after the production order. Uh, hmm. That's little congested thing, so we have to practice on. Yeah, correct. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just clicking on save button. It will get saved. And then the bottom message will come. You can see confirmation saved goods movements to one yeah. GI and one GR. Right. Okay. And one more small topic is there. I will cover in two, three minutes. Then I will close for today. Right. Okay. Now in production order, mm -hmm. we have a concept availability check. Yes. Believe. Check. Okay. What is this availability check? Okay. Actually, we will maintain this availability check in Material Master. Mm -hmm. As per this availability check in production order, system will check its components are available or not. Mm -hmm. It's a components are available or not. It will check. Okay. Okay. So uh, one more thing, uh, uh, component check. Mm -hmm. uh, production in production order, it will. Uh, it's a component check in uh, in the material master or it's check in uh, yeah. uh, in the production order. Yeah, in the production order. In the so production what order. is but its meaning? Point, is my, yeah, my, tell me. my, my point is uh, uh, why we check the availability availability check because the MRP itself is uh, control the materials. Correct. Correct. So still, we have to check availability. Yeah. Correct. The reason okay. I will tell you. OK, for example, OK, uh -huh. MRP executed. OK. Uh -huh. OK, you need a car, Honda car. Mm -hmm. Okay, you are a production person. Assume that you are a production person and Nicholas is a MM person. Okay, mm -hmm. you are a production person. As per the order or something, you need to manufacture 100 cars. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have executed MRP system, created a Honda tire. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it is generated requirement for purchase requisition for 500 tires. Okay, and now its production date is assume that this is 25th, 25th April is your production date. Okay, now today 
you assume that today is the 25th you came and now today morning you need to start the production or tomorrow morning you need to start the production okay but if you want to start tomorrow assembling this order you should know whether this 500 is available or not because you are not purchasing right nicholas is purchasing correct right. mm -hmm. but production you are doing so you should know whether this 500 has come or not mm -hmm. if it so is not come that's we use you, the that's we correct. that's why we use the uh, available teacher availability check in this application Correct. Yeah. okay if the tires has not come you cannot manufacture tomorrow manufacture. right exactly yeah. you will keep the all the manpower ideal mm -hmm. exactly. okay so your production uh, efficiency will come down right okay? so in real time for that purpose you will do the availability check okay okay use this functionality yes availability check in checking of components availability checking of components okay so for this you need settings okay checking availability check yeah check group in material in mrp3 tab in material master in material master you need to enter in mrp3 tab availability checking group so we can check the availability for hmm. the tire yes correct okay okay so now I can show you the this is setting mm02 you mm -hmm. can go to the car not car tire mm -hmm. okay and select this mrp3 mm -hmm. and here you can say availability check okay mm -hmm. if this is value is there 01 or 02 mm -hmm. okay so you can do the availability check now how we can understand the material yes. mm -hmm. is there. yeah okay that i will show you now okay yeah. now i told you availability check you can do in where you can do in production order production okay order. Yeah. now i am going to the md04 mm -hmm. for example for car so for example you have created we executed mrp run and system created all these orders for example you take this order 17 tomorrow you need to start this production okay 160 order open this in change mode okay so how much you need to produce 110 quantity you need to produce for this how what are the components you need click on components mm -hmm. you need 550 tires this 166 material you need 222 220 okay mm -hmm. this much you need so now if you click this button material there is in the top you have the material just one second. okay or okay okay click this button mm -hmm. material you can see the description check material availability okay if you click this button mm -hmm. system automatically check error during availability check of order some error is there
Yeah, well, so you don't mind if I drop the call? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can drop part. now. Tomorrow we will continue this availability check. Okay. Yeah, because it's very important. Just task we use it all. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No okay. problem. You can drop. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. I appreciate. Thank you for your time. Uh, Watson. Yeah. Thank and, uh, you. Have good. Thank you. Have a good day yeah. and have a good night, Jamal. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Good thank night, you, Jamal. Okay. Okay. So, Jamal, I will continue this tomorrow. Okay. Yes. And we'll also, continue this are you uh, are you still uh, uh, working on the documents? Yeah, because <laughs> I also don't have the time actually to look into this. No, I'm not. Uh, uh, I'm, not I'm not rushing. Only just reminding yeah. you because you have yeah, to keep yeah. it in mind. Weekend, I will. I will check the documents. Yes, okay. because I'm. Uh, uh, I understand the, uh, at least uh, since you are. Uh, uh, working on a pp i have at least 50 60 percent or i can say 70 percent i catch up and uh, mm. the main thing is uh, the you have to catch the business scenario yeah, yeah the second thing is that you have to practice it but while yeah. you while we practice and after the class because mm. there are so many tiny things comes and errors that i don't want to yeah. call you or email you for small 